Sometimes you want to blur your images and this is what you can easily do with any widget in Flutter and therefore we will develop this application. After it we will also look at how you can blur some text boxes easily in Flutter. Let's get started and make this image blurred. So we have here an image inside, which is exactly this image here, and around it we put a stack. After the image in the stack we want to put the position field and inside we put a container and this will then put our container here to the size of the image. And here inside you can basically then wrap this around with the backdrop filter and here you put your filter inside, which is an image filter. And here you have this blur method where you can supply the blur intensity. And if you do this right now, you see no changes. So what is missing is that you also need to put into your container this color inside because then the blur effect is applied. If you want to increase this blur effect, then you need to choose here higher values. So for example, we put here a 10 inside and also here a 10 inside and then you see that the blur effect is much better. And you can also change here the color, so you can put here some other color inside, and then you need to make sure that you set here also an opacity, let's say of 90%, and then you have here this white color. And if you then decrease the opacity, for example, to 50%, then you see here more of the image. And you can also change this color so that you have another blur effect with a different kind of color. Let's also choose here, for example, black, and then it looks like this. And basically you then decrease the opacity and then you see more of the image. Let's also look at how we can build this blurred box here. And by the way, if you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course, where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. For creating this blurred box, we have here again an image and around we have a stack. And after this image, we put again here something inside. So we put here center with the container inside. Inside of it, we set some padding, some space around our text, which we want to build and a color of white with some opacity of 60%. And here inside, we want to put some text inside and we give it also some text style. This will look then like this. However, this box is not yet blurred and that's what we also want to do right now. Let's quickly position this widget correctly in our image here. So we put here this position around and then you supply here some values so that it is centered here in the middle. And now we want to add this blur effect for our white container. So we go here to our container and we wrap this around a new method which is called build blur. And now we want to create this method here below and here basically comes inside our container and then we can also supply the intensity of our blur effect. Then we want to make use of our backdrop filter like we did it before and therefore we wrap our child inside of this backdrop filter and put here our filter inside and we also put our intensity values here inside. And now we can hot reload and you see that here everything got blurred. However, you see also that the background got blurred and this is an issue which we want to fix. How you can avoid this blur effect on the image itself is by wrapping this inside of another widget, a clip R rect, and here we supply a border radius of zero, and then it will look like this. So we have only for this box here the blur effect and not for the widget behind. If you want to make your widget here rounded and also have a blur effect, then you need to do it here inside of this clip R rect. So we can supply here a border radius and then put it inside of our clip R rect. And then we go here up and every time if you create this blur effect, then you can put here this border radius inside and we put it here for example to 20 and then everything will be here rounded. So you see that our box here got rounded. Lastly, we want to create here the slider so that you can change the blur intensity with slider so you can play around with it a bit and also here this color opacity you can change with the slider. Therefore, we go here to our build method and here we have this blurred image which is exactly this image and below we want to build a slider. Therefore, I put here the slider widget inside and we also want to give it some value and we call it here blur image and put it as the value inside. And now we define here the maximum intensity of our blur. We want to have 30 and also an unchanged handler so that every time if we change here our slider that this new value goes here inside of our blur image field. 
So we get here every time this value and put it inside of this field. The last thing is to use then this blur image inside of our first image. So instead of having here this hard-coded values, we put here our blur image field inside. And that's all what we need to do. And now we can simply change here the slider and it will then change the blur effect. And the maximum is here 30. Let's also create a slider for our second image. So here we create a slider widget. And again, we create a new value at the top blur box and we put it then here inside. And we also set a maximum of 0.8, so 80% opacity of our white color. And again, we put our on change handler inside and then we put every time this value which we get from the slider inside of our blur box field. And again, we want to make use of this blur box field. So we go here down to our second image and here we have this opacity and this is what we want to change. And then it looks already like this. And now we can every time change here the opacity of this image and this will then change our blur effect a bit by the opacity of the color. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!